Hello, my dear gardening friends. Many years ago, I planted a climbing rose on the arbor and I made one major mistake. I didn't plant it correctly. And ever since that rose is suffering and not producing abundant blooms as it should in my garden. So in this video, I am planting my new rose, New Dawn, which just arrived into my house near my uh, self-made uh, arch. And I'm showing you how I'm going to do it. Okay, see, here we have rose. I received it from uh, High Country Roses and it's New Dawn Rose. I ordered actually two roses to be on both sides of this arbor. And this rose is going to be Arnold Rose. It arrived uh, packaged in a container with a tape. And High Country Roses uh, company sells uh, band roses, which are very small, basically they're baby roses. And as you can see, this is a very small rose. The other one which I'm going to receive is going to be from David Austin, grafted New Dawn Rose, and it will go on that side. I was thinking which side should I plant this band rose, and uh, since it's a baby, it needs to have a better side. And I think this side is better because it receives slightly more morning sun, and then when the sun goes through the garden, it moves in and it gives sun to that side. On another side, the rose New Dawn would be um, grafted, so it will have the support of the strong root system to have a strong start right away. But this baby rose is going to be planted here. And look, I already digged the, the hole. Some gardeners, especially beginner gardeners, would think, okay, the root system of this rose is so small, so it means that I have to make a hole just a little bit bigger, put this rose in, and that's it, the rose would be happy. No, don't make that mistake. If you receive a baby rose in your garden, and uh, there are two ways, you can uh, uh, make it a little bit stronger in the pot where you can move it into a good location and make sure you have that rose have uh, maximum attention from you, or you can plant it right away into the garden. But you have to prepare a hole to host a mature rose for many years. And look at that size of that hole I did. You see the rose? You see the hole? I'm going to plant it just under the level of the soil because this is own root rose, but I will make sure that all that area is going to be well prepared for this rose to flourish here because this is not a shrub rose, it's a climbing rose. Climbing new dawn goes 10 plus feet. In my area, I suspect it to go all the way on the arbor and this is where the root system will go. Well, I did make a mistake it was the last time many years ago when I planted my climbing rose and I planted it far away from the arbor and I planted it to the front of the arbor. So my rose there as a result is trying to reach the sun and uh, I don't have really a lot of space to train those flexible long canes to produce lateral canes. As we know, lateral canes produce flowers for us and that's what we want from our rose, right? So in that area of my garden, there is no way I can train that rose to have lateral growth. Mistake number one. And mistake number two, I didn't plant it right under the arch. I planted it away from the arch. So now when I want to train it, it looks a little bit awkward. You can see the, uh, the bottom part of the rose, which is bare now. So in this area, I'm going to avoid that mistake. I dig the holes, a pretty big hole right under the arch, and I dig it at the back of the arch, not in the middle, at the back, because this way, when my rose starts growing, I will have plenty of space towards the sun to go low with those branches and train them into a lateral way. This way I will get a lot of blooms. So I follow the same procedure as I do with all my roses when I plant them out. Uh, just a reminder, my garden soil is very neutral, so I use cow manure, half and half is natural soil. I know I'm repeating myself a lot together with uh, which zone I live, zone 6, 7 Connecticut, but there, I feel that a lot of people don't watch my other videos and they don't know. So I mix half and half of cow manure, well rotted cow manure, with garden soil, and I build the hole for my future roses that way. So what I do, I mix cow manure with garden soil, and since I'm planting a band rose here, 
I don't need to create any hail and the band grows its own root and it grows in its own soil. I don't need to create any hills. What I need to do is to fill this hole in nice goodness. Here you go, it needs more. All right. The hole is pretty deep. I made sure I digged it well. Somebody asked me in my previous video if cow manure is harmful to the roots when it is touching the roots. And my answer is absolutely not. But there is one little but, of course. You have to know that you are using well decomposed cow manure. The fresh cow manure, if somebody is living near the farm and they have access to fresh cow manure or any animal manure, especially chicken manure, which is very concentrated, you cannot, absolutely not, can use fresh manure in your garden. It will burn the roots, it may kill the plants, and you have to wait, give that cow manure time to go through the decomposition process. Or, as in my case, I don't have access to the farm, I live in a fairly populated area in Connecticut, and I buy my well, uh, rotted cow manure from uh, Home Depot in big bags. It's quite cheap. It's probably something around six dollars now And I find it a good deal because it's already prepared uh, It went through the dec decomposition process and it's ready to be used right away in the garden So the bottom line decomposed cow manure doesn't burn the roots and you can use it uh, generously in your garden around the roots of the plants and also as a, a um, As a mulch around the plants. It's very beneficial in spring Okay, so here I am mixing it. I don't worry mixing it very well. Rose will figure it out in itself. All right, goody, goody, goody. Now, let me see how deep my rose will go. has a nicely developed root system. Goody goody. I'm going to kind of wiggle it out a little bit. I don't want these roots to go the way they go around. They started to circle a little bit around the pot. So I'm trying to encourage them to grow in a different direction, not only around the pot, you know. So here we go. It's a little bit too deep. I'm going to add a little bit more of soil. It's too deep. Let me see, more of cow manure is needed. I have to be careful about these boxwoods which are growing here. Okay, let's see. Now this, I will take out down the sticker. Something like this. All right. All right. Something like this. This I will use a native soil just to fill up the okay. I like to leave a little like a pool space for this rose. To make sure water is not going to escape from the root system. You see? Okay. Now when this grows decides to grow, it's growing right onto this uh, arbor. And I don't need to bend it, twist it, turn it, look at the bare uh, uh, bottom of the rose. It's going to be all ready to go right away on the arch. All right, that's it. Give your rose a nice soak. 
And this baby is all ready to be happy in my garden. Now, the general rule when you receive a band rose, or generally a rose which is potted, you always water it right away, free it up from any plastic, make sure a rose has a space to breathe and space to drink. Because rose might arrive into your house uh, quite dehydrated and quite dry, depending on the shipping method, you know. There can be shipping delays. All right, that's it. So this rose, when it decides to grow, oh gosh, this, this thing has to go another way around. Here we go, a little bit higher. Maybe I will just train it to go a little bit higher. So this rose, you see, it will, when it decides to go up and reach the sky, it's going to go that way because sun is there. And since it's planted here, it will reach there. This is exactly what I want. And I will start training it to reach the sky very happy. All right, happy gardening. I will see you next time.